Okay, Monday 6th of January 2020. I prefer saying 2020, easier to remember. And it's just coming up to half six, Greenwich Mean Time. CES is on, I've seen my first video. Thank you Daily Tech News team. <sighs> Going to Newport train. There will be a mini B no later this week. That's why draining, not raining. In the Queen's Hotel. And this is North Trail, Brightside Brewing Company, 5% alcohol by volume, a full flavoured IPA, so it says on the pump clip. Carpet for Mr. Manning. Um, 185, so I think we're back to Monday Club. Mmm. <coughs> okay. So that is sharp, grapefruity. A little bit malty. I'm going to say B plus in a bit for Gaza Prescott. And that's going to be 3.3 out of 5. Apparently, the German oils are not going down very well. However, if I was there, I'd be doing what he's doing drinking as many as he can. Okay, the end of Wonderwall inside the Pen and Wake. This is Malt House by those lovely. Lost the Brothers, 4.2% alcohol by volume, and it says red IPA. Real wooden flooring, Mr. Manning. Mmm, quite malty, nicely bitter. That's a bit plus in a bit. Nice lingering bitter finish. 3.3 out of 5. Post chips and it's raining. Who would have thought? So it's Monday. It's 2.50 a pint for Cascales. And this is R E S T E C P. I think it's supposed to be respect, but yeah, there's a hint there. 4.8% alcohol by volume, juicy IPA, hazy. Yeah, I'm not sure about the new t-shirts. Still festive. Tree's gone. Okay, so we got spicy, peppery, fruity, bitter, B++. 3.5 out of 5. They did it. Chips, obviously. Going gluten free. This is Broadwalk by Beatnik Republic. 4% alcohol by volume, to pound 50 a pint. Talking about Bristol. Sweet, a little bit fruity, a little bit sharp, a little bit B plus in a bit. However, 3.4. Five dollar shake from Tiny Rebel, Dreamy Citra IPA, 4.5 percent alcohol by volume, and a little bit hazy. Two pound fifty a pint on your Monday. Still waiting. B plus plus. That is really, really nice. But I do like Citra. 